everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and uh, welcome back to some more of the Dual Project with me. And welcome. Well, it's actually the basement of the Okage building. Welcome to the. Let me. Uh, welcome to. I well, basically dubbed the Dual Legroom. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, you know, I've been keeping track of my wins and losses and stuff. I thought maybe we could apply that in an actual more practical way. So we can, like, see who kind of the top percentage of, you know, people are on the server. That seemed like an idea to me. So basically, I came up with this contraption of a room. Because it was just by chance. I was like, I went upstairs. And then I came downstairs. And I noticed the bit there. Going further downstairs. And I was like, ooh, what's down there? I went and looked and it was a room. And I'm like, ooh, oh, hello, I could... Could use that for something. So I ended up building a room to do dueling in. Which, uh, yeah. You know, we'll go, we'll go and look more then in a little minute. Before that, though, a couple of other little things. One, there is three new NPCs floating around the map. Most people have already found them. Because most people, they found a way to cheat the system, basically. Which means I've got to put a bit more effort into doing things with them, apparently. It's a pain in the backside, but it'll have to happen. Yeah, people get away of finding NPCs all around, so... <laughs> I'm going to have to do other methods to make it a bit more tricky to figure out where my NPCs are. So that'll be a thing. I'm going to have to do my work. Thanks for that, bloody. They're not actually they're not cheating by technicality. But, like, they're using a cheeky method of, of doing it. Taking all the fun out of finding them. So, whatever. Anyway. So, even that, we've also updated. We have added new packs. Packs! Plural. We've added in the fat, um, uh, Feral Servant from before. But also, Spell Ruler. AK2002 pack. And to my knowledge, the only 2002 pack, because the next pack after that is 2003, and there's four of them in 2003. Uh, that seems to be the case, unless I'm missing one or it's not in the game. But I thought I looked through them all, and I did not see another one. Barring, of course, like, exclusive things and promotional packs and other bits. Not legitimate packs, anyway, because, like, there's, for example, a movie pack based around the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pyramid of Light movie. That gives you nine cards. Fun fact about the Pyramid of Light promotional movie pa uh, pack, it only has four monsters in it, or four uh, cards in it. It has Pyramid of Light, uh, Water Pod, the Dark Sorcerer Supreme guy that you, I forget what his name is, the 3200 Magician guy, and the Blue Eyes uh, Shining Dragon. So, given the fact you get nine cards and there's only four of them, you get each one at least twice in that pack. It's, yeah, okay, that's not an actual pack. That's just, that's there as a thing. That's not an actual pack. So, yeah. Well, given by actual packs knowledge, though, that seems to be the only 2002 one. So, there are packs we currently have. Also, well, yeah, tons and tons of credits because obviously there's new people on the map uh, doing various things. Uh, we now have access to, no well, more credits per hour and all that malarkey, which I've been on. And Yami's been on. And thus, I, I've got a lot. But um, also to note, one of the guys, uh, well, actually two of them, only give out the thing once. One gives out a bunch of credits one time, which I guess is helpful to the folk that have just joined, because then they'll get a lot more to start with. Obviously, you need to find the NPC first. So there is that. Uh, but, uh, on earth. Oh, they're already they're just talking about it openly. Cool. Right, anyway. <laughs> There's no, there's nothing hidden in this world, just, uh, just, they just tell everything to everyone. Oh, they're all so nice to each other. Anyway, here's one of them anyway. But, um, it's Penny. Penny only gives you one pack. One time. Uh, so you get one of these and that's it. Uh, and everyone's gonna get one that way. I get two, because I've got Yami. <laughs> Huzzah! Um, yeah, I'm taking full advantage of Yami at this point, why not? Oh, but yes, yeah, so that's one of them. The other two are hidden. If you can find them. Or you apparently just ask anyone to serve and they'll bloody tell you. Uh, so there is that. I suppose they should. But at the same time, like, eventually, at least make people work. For, at least let them search for a bit and give them hints or something. Make a game. It'll make it fun. <laughs> ah, they're all too friendly with each other. God damn it. No matter. Anyway. Packs. Promotional pack. Um, This one draws from a limited card pool. So you're very likely to get very good cards out of it. Including cards that I haven't seen in any other packs, like, yeah, card destruction being one of them. Uh, where's my other one? Yeah, there it is there. That's the other 2002 pack that I found. This is, I found this while looking through the packs. This is the one I got from Yami. Uh, Yami's pack, essentially. So we've got, yeah, Soul Exchange. Ultimate Offering. Pretty good card during the main phase. Or your opponent's battle phase. You can pay 500 life points immediately after this effect resolves. Normal summon. Flash set one monster. And Wabaku. 
Very good card. But um, now see, I just got to change the heart there and card destruction. Again, very good cards. But um, so yeah, these are these are uh, these are these are very good. These packs. That's why your people only get one of them because these are often very limited pulls. So you're likely gonna get something very nice from it. But then um, you can trade after that. Anyway, though, new packs. Open them. That never exists in the in the cycle of cards. That went straight on the limited boards. <laughs> I know the power of Cyberjar. Cyberjar is busted. Uh, yeah, Cyberjar joins the wall of cards. I'm allowed one of. I'm not against people using them. He is a fun card to use, but obviously I don't want people having three of them. That would be insane. So, um, yeah, there's that. I'm also getting new field arena cards that boost power more. Kill and Mr. Peace. That's a pretty useful card, especially for stall decks. But, um... Uh, open this one. Tins! Giant Germ! Then, uh, yeah, cards let you summon monsters in attack mode. Useful! Oh, yeah, and Sonic Bird, some ritual type cards. That's the thing. Spell Ruler! Fun fact! Spell Ruler also has tins in it. Also, seems to have a lot of cards that just, that, yeah, it's also got the cards for summoning things. It's also got, um, the better field arenas. Yeah, strangely! Spell Ruler and Feral Servant seem to draw a lot, like, some of the cards are the exact same. Like, some of them, it's just more tunes. But, uh, yeah, it seems to draw the same kind of circle of cards. Also, pay 1,000 life points, look at your opponent's hand, draw one card. De uh, select one card and discard that card. Could be useful. That's actually pretty cool. Um, only if this Crawler use it, but whatever. Uh, Mangarai Ran, that's drawn from the 2002 pack. 2000 also has the things, whatever. Boosting Defense, Labyrinth Wall, Rituals. Yeah, they seem to draw from the same kind of cards. It's quite odd. I guess all the people that wanted to make a tune deck are having a field day today. Because they've got tons of things to work with now. <laughs> I'm not building a tune deck. Ooh, that is good though. Horn of the Unicorn and Cyberjar. I'm as well taking that out because I'm probably going to add it to my deck. Because let's say it. Giant Trinite, also very good cards. Uh, do, 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 do. That's level 5. So all the packs I've opened, I got. I believe so. I believe I've looked at all in there. So I'll put the rest of them away. Uh, these are two packs I got from Fountain Girl. Another change of <laughs> You know, I struggled to get this card originally, and now suddenly I'm just getting millions of them. Ah, oh, it's great. Ah, oh, Celtic Guardian, you're, you're what I get for this pack, really. Sure, sure game. Sure, let's go with that. The hell does everybody want? I know what everybody wants. Everybody wants to duel me currently. That's the thing right now. We're not doing that. I'm running away into my house. Um, Yeah, okay, so we're going to add Cyberjar. We're going to add Horn of the Unicorn. Uh, we're going to add Giant Trinade. Take out Heavy Storm. Take out Sword of Thingy. Yeah, Sword's now useless, apparently. Uh, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah, I've got the Mask of Brutality. I've got that. Savage gets added there. So, instead of getting Savage, I'm going to take Kane Hain out, because I don't think Kane Hain provides a purpose with that there. Take that out. Oh. I'm still trying to balance this fucking deck off a little bit more. It's Trixie! Okay, I'm going to quickly put these cards away. I'm going to get more packs. I'm going to open those too because we've got all these credits to work with. I may as well see what rares we can get. But before that, let's go with the whitelisting. Then, after that, we'll tell everyone about the dual league plan thing. I'll go over the rules and whatnot. And I think we'll see. We'll, we'll basically start working on it. So there's going to be, I think, there will be a few boards, essentially, to um, set out the top ranking players, essentially, in different regards. So we'll, we'll go over that in a little bit. First off, Whitelisting! There were three people added to the whitelist from the comment section. I don't think any members asked to go on, but if they did, I, I whitelisted everyone that's like asked. Like, I went through all the members and I, I whitelisted everyone that asked to whitelist, but I don't think, I think they were just the same people from before, but whatever. Anyway, Ray Zodiac 10, G the Akatsuki, and Deku 210. You three have been added to the whitelist. Mod Pack IP went up, should be on Discord where it belongs. And as per usual, people, if you want to get a chance to get whitelisted onto the server, Leave a like on the video along the end game name down below for a chance to get on. And yeah, it's normal. More likes in the video, the more chances to get whitelisted. Or you could just, you know, you could just like it because you enjoy it and want to see the series do well and want to see it continue because it really does help out and all that malarkey. <laughs> Please like the video. Please leave a like. Anyway, <laughs> now that I'm done begging, onwards. So, bam, ba -dum. Shall we do warp or do warp over? I think we shall. I'm just going to go over the rules really quick first and I'll explain to everyone off camera. Because, like, there's no, there's no point you watching me, like, message everyone. I'm trying to get everyone order. And um, then we'll do some duels. I'll, you know, I'll open more packs first, and then I'll do some more duels. And we'll get basically start this league thing off. So, basically, though, know, uh, we'll get boards up here. The idea will be go on boards. One, two, three. 
Put your name on. Put your name on. Put your plot out. Actually, put those out. Put them the lobby round, actually, I think about it. Your wins and your losses. And get your points. So basically, yeah, you put your name, you put your wins, you put your losses, and you put your points. And that's on the top board bit. Then after that, you put down all your opponents, and you put down your win to loss ratios on them. I've put four signs each for now. Obviously, that can, you know, be a bit I've ended up putting more down if we need to and extend stuff. And there's, there's space for expansion if we need to. But for now, yeah, all these boards are basically little people on it. And, uh, yeah, how the system's gonna work. So, you mark all the duels. Only the duels done in this building count. So if you do up there, that's like a non-ranked, non-league duel. Basically, we're introducing ranked duels, essentially. Um, and, yeah, server rules and limits still apply. So you don't have the same boards in here. They still apply the same. Any rules I put up there are the same down here, obviously. Now, as for points and whatnot, you get one point for winning a match. And you get two points for having a higher win ratio over your opponent. So basically, let's say I was dealing Sebastian. If I beat Sebastian and we're now 1-0 like for me, I'd beat three points. Because at that point I get one point for beating him and I get two points for having the better ratio. So basically the more people you're better like you have better ratios over, aka you're better at dueling at, then the more points you get that way. So it, it means it just it, it kind of makes it so you you want to do more folk rather than just dueling the same folk over and over. Because that way you can get better uh, numbers and stuff out of it. So, um, yeah, that's how that plan's meant to work. And then, for example, then if I go one each with Sebastian, then me and Sebastian both have one point. And there's no bonus points because we're, right, we're drawing. Then if I go 2-1, I have four points. Because I've got two points for wins and the two points for having the better ratio. That's the plan for it. Also, if there's any disputes about situations, ask outside people for their input. That's plan. Oh, hello. God, they found there's a few examples of the points thing down here. Anyway, ba -ba -dum. gonna run away for now. Sebastian, I know you found it, but it's fair. I'm gonna introduce it later. Just, 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 just I've got things to do first. So they can go look. They can go look all they want. The point is, I'm not. No, I'm not introducing it right now. I need to go put the packs away. I need to go open more packs. I need to set up a deck out, and then we'll we'll start dueling, folk, and we'll see. New tiny spot. You're completely wrong, Sebastian. It's a league. It's an ongoing thing. It'll be a reason to do rank duels, essentially, so you can try and end as, as like one of the top people in the server. Because basically, we'll put boards down. It'll rank the top people, essentially, for their the uh, best win to loss ratios, best number of points, and stuff like that. That'll be that'll be fun. But okay. Anyway, let me shove this stuff away. Let me buy more packs, and let's see what we can get. All right. Some money spent. Twelve packs down. Let us see. What we get? Tin World. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not running tins. Um, I get a good feeling I'm not gonna get very much. I really want out of this, this, these packs currently, but whatever. We can still try. Uh, da, 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 da. We've got yep, Horn of Unicorn, Horn of Light, Chain Ener uh, Chain Energy is not is quite an interesting card. Making so cards uh, constantly um, it costs uh, to summon basically all the time, which is interesting because if yeah, if you have a burn type deck. Where you're constantly doing damage, you're having cards in the field or stuff. That can be a very beneficial card. Uh, do, do, do. Here we go. When it's car uh, when control this face up cards on the field shifts to your opponent. Increase your life points by 3,000. Wow, if you could force a shift, that'd be very good. Turn blue eyes. That thing works if I want to try and make a harpy deck. Definitely. Um, but um, Giant Shrine again. <laughs> I got trades have I got now? Quite a few. Quite a few anyway. Uh, Feral Servant. Another Horn of the Unicorn. Bloody hell. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you're... You're be useful for... Birdies and stuff. Um, not getting too much of interest. Cyberjar. Another birdie card. Ah, oh, the nimble thing. Oh, this is Refusions. Uh, when this card is normal or flip summoned, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Interesting. Because, uh, yeah, if you have things like, say, Turtle, Crab Turtle, in your uh, deck, could let you get one. Labyrinth Wall has been added to the mix. 3,000 defense. Interesting card. Hmm. That's all. 
Grab that just for the sake of having it, I suppose. Um, just shove those in there for now. Yeah, this is maybe the makeup of a harpy deck, but, but like wing beasts and stuff. I don't have, I don't have enough for it. I started grabbing the bits for it, but I just don't have enough to make it happen. Anyway, I was hoping to kind of get like a really cool super rare. Like, is something unique and interesting, but no, nah, not really. It's just mostly general bits. Hmm. Grab a few more. I mean, I've got enough little extra little cards now to tweak my deck a little, but I've still got no running theme on the bloody thing. Because, like, I've got... I, I just don't have enough cards to run a certain theme. Like, if I wanted to run, say, Warrior or something like that, I just, I just don't have enough. I'm, just, I'm, I'm lacking that eight, the last little bit. Hmm. Possibly when I add in the next packs, that'll, like, sort the situation. But I don't know. But I'm going to grab a couple more, because we've got all the credits in the world right now. Might as well take advantage of it. do 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 Let's have a go with this. Sort my packs in my house, as you do. Alright, what we got? Giant! <laughs> Alright! Savage on Giant today. Cool! Tin World! That's super rare. What's the ultra rare in this pack? I'm curious. Horn of the Unicorn. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay, that's super rare. That is. Is that like the only super rare in this pack? Like. And Savage are again. Yeah, these two packs draw, like, I, d I don't know if they draw from the exact same uh, places, but, like, they draw from a similar places. Jesus. Got yeah, a lot of the same thing. Cure Mermaid. Interestingly card. Uh, do, 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 do. The fairy things are about. Skull there. Yeah, I'm getting nothing of interest. Nothing of interest at all. Yep, alright. Destiny board. Random cards. Right, well, didn't quite go to plan, but, you know, tease what it is. Just shove a few more cards away. So I'm going to do it too quick, we won't break anything. Okay, so yeah, some rare cards floating around in there. I want to see how many cyber I got. I'm curious, hold on. Cyber jar, four. Horn. Of the unicorn five. So called giant today, no? Uh, did I spell giant there? I must have spelled giant there. And then three giant trades plus the one I've already got in my deck. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right, okay, well, whatever. Uh, well, we got Wabba Q. That's really good. We got Ultimate Offering. I I don't know if I want Ultimate Offering, because that, like, plays the opponent stuff as well. We got Soul Exchange, which is pretty interesting. Car uh, card Destruction, which is pretty interesting. I'm going to take one of you out. Hold on, where's. Lay the Harp. Lay the Harp. Sang of the Thunder. Yeah, I don't really have much in the way of tributing. Required. So I don't really need soul exchange, I don't think. I think I'd be a waste in my deck. I do believe, I do believe. Um I put it over there. Bo, 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 bo. So we're five we get twenty five. Okay, yeah, okay, so we get twenty five monsters and sixteen slash spells or traps. Two swords are really light, one poor grade, da, 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 da. card destruction, ultimate offering, while we could have been added into the deck. Along with Horn the Unicorn taking place as something else. Alright, sure, you know what? I'll run this. This seems like something I can try to work with. I, I desperately want a theme for my deck. <laughs> like, just so I can take advantage of the spell arenas and stuff like that. Err. The problem is the, re the new arenas go off typings, not... No, attributes, not typings. I bet not one. Right, well, what with what we've got right now is still a deck. Of sorts. It's not a perfect theme deck, but whatever. We'll try. We'll try with what we've got. <laughs> oh, I'm not confident with this at all. But right, we'll go to the duel league thing. We'll invite everyone over. We'll see how we do. We'll do some duels. Which I think Bear Girl really wanted to duel me first. Then, like, three other people asked me to duel after. So, <laughs> let's see who wants to do what then. Right, well, I announced to everyone what the situation was. I showed them the signs. Obviously, once people you know, see the video, they'll have a better idea of what's going on. Because it's easier for me to do it that way than to actually try and say it in words and chats. People make miss people obviously aren't on and blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah. Okay, so this way I'll be show by example of me doing it. So, 
Who wants to do league duel? Right then, Bear Girl wants to go first. So, I see a lot of people saying, Is Bear Girl first? But so, heads or tails? Tails, heads. I will go first. Which, oh! To remind people! All drills of Yu-Gi-Oh! It gave me... Other deck. Quit out. I think someone else clicked... The bash, are you kicking... You click the bloody Click the bloody table for us, didn't you? Right. Again. <laughs> oh. Right, come on, bear growl, try again. Come on. Bum -ba -dum. No, Sebastian! I swear to God! You wait! Ah! Right, bear girl, go! Right! I'm first. Again! Anyway. Pass. Actually, it doesn't even matter about the phases. The phases don't really matter the first turn. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. It's right! Thing! So, in old Yu-Gi-Oh! You do in the first turn. That was a thing. That was a thing that happened. So, yeah. Storm monsters in the field. That's okay, that could be a weird way to start things off. Okay, uh, ba -da -ba. Effect. Special summon. With that and that. Oh, they, get, they passed over to me anyway. Um, yeah. In old Yu Gi Oh! before 2014, you do in your first turn. We're playing by those rules because why would we not? We're literally doing old Yu Gi Oh! So it makes sense we play under the old rules. Your move. Your move! Bum 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 bum. They haven't enjoyed their cards. Wild. I'd like to point out that Bear Girl has been dealing other people on the server. So Bear Girl seems to know the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh. To my understanding. So it's just, it just seems to be that she doesn't... It doesn't seem to know the system very well, apparently. Or something. I'm not sure. Either way. Uh, probably, possibly by now that they've got a better idea and understanding of it. Hey, so two things, yeah. They draw, they draw in the first turn thing. I keep getting things about that. Yeah, no, we draw in the first turn. That is just how it works. Okay? There's no ifs or buts about that. That's how it works. What the hell is that? Who are you targeting? You're targeting my Gilosaurus? I assume? Okay, you don't draw next turn. I target your monster. I mean, alright, but... <laughs> They're a crazy move and you had a straight open attack for you there. You can't. Target one face up monster in the field. So the other thing. Carapult Turtle. That faker. Here's the faker change too. Fun fact, I haven't used Carapult Turtle in over 10 years. Last time I played with him was in Yu Gi Oh GX Spirit Color DS game. Can I not directly hit it? What? I have no idea what they're on about. Oh. Thought you meant the spell? Because you hadn't. Yeah, I thought you meant the spell because thingy. I'm just saying, highlight things to show you're attacking. It makes things simpler. But anyway, um, yeah. So, Carbatol. Last time I played with them was like over ten years ago. Back then, 
he could contribute as many monsters as you want. That was just how it worked. Um, that apparently got changed after Pendulum came out. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. I was probably going to win that deal anyway, but sure, by technicality, I should be also by technicality, I'm playing by old rules, so Cabal Total technically should just have his old effect. Just saying. But anyway, you know, play by it from now on. But yeah, it's, it's BS they changed them. But at the same time, when you can summon your entire hand because of BS pendulum rules. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You lose 400. Burger doesn't seem to be operating very quickly. Is this what is happening? Burger L? Don't know. Anyway. Ah! They appear to have crashed. That's quite unfortunate. Now let's move on a bit of Cabal Totem. Yeah, uh, Pendulum ruined everything. As we know, so they've literally had to change old cards to, you know, facilitate the new rules, and it's crap. But yeah, so apparently Cabal Totem's been changed, it's going to be uh, get rid of one per turn. So I'll play from that from now on, but to know, it used to have the old effect. And you can look it up if you don't believe me. But that, like, they've changed Wikipedia to even show the new effect, but it literally had the old effect. You can look up any old game with them, and he has the old effect. But that I mean, like, you go... You get the uh, G expert calls and all those Yu Gi Oh games. So, yeah, I'm a bit stuck in the past. I never read this effect because I thought I knew Capital's effect. I never thought they changed bloody Capital, but they did. And it's crazy. But anyway, now that we've rants over, I'll probably get more comments about it anyway. But regardless, let's wait for Bear Girl to come back and continue if we can. Up, oh, up. Oh, they appear to be back on the server. Took almost 10 minutes, but they seem to be back. Huzzah. Are they going to. They're gonna rejoin. He's waiting for the king. I'm, I'm right here, but um, you lose four hundred. Go. So sorry, Spain. So long as it doesn't happen more times during the same duel. <laughs> anyway, it's not destroyed. Okay, I thought they knew the rules of you. Got they are a beginner. Okay, that's fine. But but um. Alright, so they also seem to rapidly click that button so quickly that they managed to skip by one of my phases. Don't know how they managed that, but they do. Anyway, summon fairy thing. Oh, I, could, I could put on attack mode as well. Nah. A anyway, battle phase. I attack that. You lose 100. I'm highlighting. There we go. But Jim, you don't draw. Just sort of aware, because they used that spell card before. They don't draw this turn. Raigeki! Oh, lovely. Alright then. I can see why they didn't care about drawing. Story of monsters. Oh, I'm aware. I know how Raigeki works. Alright, 11.50. This thing. Cool! Ba -ba Boom. Draw phase. Go to battle phase. Like people doing stuff during the draw phase, fine. But you have to go to the battle phase to battle. That's something we're getting people reused to. There we go. I really should make them highlight as well, but whatever. Boom. There we are. Lovely. You know, going to battle phase to attack. How did they do that? Did they have an all clicker on or something? What the fucking hell is that? I don't know how the hell they managed that. They managed to click so fast. Is that an all clicker that does that? I don't know. I'm beginning to think it might be. Anyway, regardless. Um, do I want to go with this? I want to go cyber jar because I reckon I reckon I could take advantage of that. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What I'm gonna do? Put that down. Swords of revealing light. End my turn. But um, your move. Yeah, I don't know how they're doing that. My finger twitched. You've done it every time, nearly. <laughs> oh, they've done that a few times though. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Because like, how do you click that fast? How does that happen? Not a clue. Either way. But yeah, I want to activate Cyber Drive's effect on my terms, so I've got my monsters in the field, so I can pick if I want to attack or something. So yeah, anyway, that now getting the thing. 
I activate Pot of Greed. Let me draw two more cards. I flip Cyber Jar. All destroyed. Draw five and show them all. Bum, 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 bum. Then all level four lower monsters be set in attack face down fence. Jesus. Rest go to hand. Um, but um, that can be summoned anyway. Um, I believe spirit goes to hand. Like the spirit cannot be special summoned any other way. Okay, so that goes to my hand. That goes to my hand. That goes to my hand. These two are leaving in attack mode. The rest of these. Twin spirit two. Yeah, they, they cannot be, uh, they can only be special summons by removing from player card. That does not issue button that. Now, either face up attack, face down defense. Now, in 1400, 1400, I can beat them both. I also haven't summoned this turn, and I've got Monster Barn. Lovely. What are you going to do then? I also have a giant train, so I can nearly take my swords back up. There. Need to be faced in. We're not playing this game of, oh, but you know what they are anyway. Like, rules are rules. We play by the rules here. As people in the comment section like to point out, I don't, but you know, whatever. Anyway, right. Other things I can do now. I'm going to activate Monster Reborn. I'm going to revive Fairy. I'm going to summon... The Gemini Elves. I'm going to activate Giant Trinade. Turn spell slash traps to hand. That includes my active swords. Next up, I'm going to activate that. On Mermaid. Boosting our attack by 1000. Lovely. And, um... Change of heart? Not, not much point. Uh, okay, and uh, now we're going to go to battle phase. We're going to have that. Destroy that. That. Come on. What are they doing? You don't lose life points. The monster's destroyed. Did they, they just lowered the life points, didn't they? I don't know. I'm actually quite confused. Anyway, that that attacks that. I'm showing who I'm using attacking. Watch the damn board. That's how this system works. I'm in battle phase. That's what that means. That's what the importance of the battle phase. Anyway. You lose 2500 from Mermaid. Then 1900 from else. Huzzah! There we go. We have to main phase two. Activate Sword of Villain again. Put that face down. Don't put that face down. Don't need to use that. 
Anton. You gotta move. Oh, that cyber job. Oh, that cyber job is so good to me. This is this is why cyber jobs busted. It can turn the tides so well. And they've already used Red Gecky. Sell them Dark Hole. They've got nothing else. Remove trap. That. That. Does nothing. No traps. What? You need, you need a face up trap for that. Yeah, that makes more sense. Do, 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 do. I mean, I'm winning this next turn then, because they've got nothing else apparently to play. Unless they put more face down th there and assault me. Yeah, okay, I win. Change your heart. I take your monster. I also lose a thousand. I lose one thousand. Gain eight hundred. Take your monsters. Control. I don't. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Anyway. And then yeah. Remember the attacks, GG. Like that that is it. That's that's it over. They're making this a lot more complicated because they don't seem to know how the system works. But yeah. You didn't get anything. Also no. My elf. It's on my side. It never flipped. Okay, it's not like an anime. It works same as anime, but I never flipped. Okay, they're clearly not paying attention to things or reading the cards. Cool. So Bear Girl is definitely a beginner. Um, Sebastian, no, that's not what you do. So now that that's done, I'll show this. So basically, I go Bear Girl. One, two, three. One nil. So now I have. One nil and points three in total. So now Bear Girl use top boards for names to mark. Who you duels and your records. So that means Bear Girl. Who did they just leave? Yeah, they did. Anyway, so um, in that case, Bear Girl's here then. One, two, three, four, five. Bear Girl, one, two, three. Probably was too much, whatever. Um, but da 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 da. Into loss. Zero one. Points. Zero. And their thing will say. Ninja Shadow. Zero to one. And literally, that it means that both boards have to say the same thing. Because obviously they do. Because otherwise, that, that made no sense. But yeah, that's basically how this is going to work, though. So, yeah. I've got I've one, one do, and I've got one advantage point over Bear Girl, and that's been it so far. And then we'll use these boards. So if we use these boards, you can basically list. You could fit like 40 people on here if you wanted to, as long as you don't take too many spaces between or anything. anything. But yeah, that's basically how this is meant to work, though. So, hopefully, this system catches on. Um, but we'll see. But anyway, we ended up doing you now, Gingy. Guess Sebastian. 
Frost, I guess. Alright, we'll go against Sebastian. Why not? Sure. Da -da -da. Answer tills. What you I get 60 cards out there. Jesus. Tills! Do you want to go first or second? So the point about it, uh, passing phases doesn't really matter in the first turn because you can't go the battle phase anyway. So it's literally just main phase and that's it. Da 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 You draw. Are they forgetting about the first turn draw? Some people might be. Damn these new dealers not knowing about the old ways. Can I have phase? Eat them. <laughs> Can't attack anyway. The first turn phases don't really matter. Like, yeah, the first turn, they don't really matter in the first turn phases. There's a speck all you can do with them. But, I mean, yeah, you can signal that you've ended your turn, but that's about it. But anyway, actually. Pod of Greed. With that, I draw two cards. I feel like saying that out loud every time it happens. I summon the Little Mermaid. I put on the Mask of Brutality, boosting its attack to 2500. I battle. Destroyed. You lose 700. Does Sebastian realise that? Yes, I do. Go. Cool. So that I am my turn. So Little Mermaid, I know it's called Cure Mermaid, but whatever. Um, yeah, they make it so I gain 800 at the start of each turn. G. <laughs> You put it face up. Like, unless you meant to do that, but I don't think you did. Wanna set it? I didn't mean to do that. I'll allow you to set it. Technically, I could be really hard in this because it's rank tools and say, no, you're not allowed to do that. You've got to, you've got to do the other thing, but okay, he's just, he's just playing our fish down. That's what I meant to do. Sure you did. Alright. I mean... Sure. I'll allow it. Technically, if someone did that, you could be an absolute terrible person and just say, no, the axe of despair is in this. That's terrifying. Oh, the DVD deal. That's not good. Um, Also pay a thousand life points. Who does? When you end your turn, I do. It's during my standby phases I get that. So basically, if he doesn't attack me... Um, so if... Let's see if I can convince him. Don't attack. I lose... 1,000... At my... Standby phase. I convinced them to not attack me. <laughs> it's okay. Damn it! Ah! Oh well, I'll give it a go. Nothing wrong with trying to do a bit of sweet talking. Anyway, right, I activate Raigeki, destroying the dangerous fish with the dangerous, dangerous axe. Goodbye, fish. Goodbye, axe. Goodbye, goodbye fish and axe. Goodbye. You can't, you can't use its effect, it won't work. Goodbye, axe. Axe too. There we go. Right, and then that goes to graveyard. Some of the Gemini Elves. Go to the battle phase. Attack directly for 1900. Ba -da -da -da. Is it 73 down to 54? Maybe it's 54. There we go. But, uh, but uh, let's keep everything right. Can't have the comment section saying I'm cheating again. They've already done it like five times at this point. Because apparently rules change over years and I don't like them because I'm using old rules and blah. But yeah, I think Sebastian has a tune deck, by the way, which is very limiting until you get tune world. So have fun with that, Sebastian. Anyway, I will summon Zidark Ilf. I'm going to 
with the battle phase, I will attack. Yep, alright. What do you want to do? Who are you targeting? Pick your, pick your target. Go on. Go on. Yeah, I figured. Damn it. I'm a turn. Where's all my spells and traps? Come on, game. If you get spells and traps before me, I'm fucked. You can change a heart. Monster reborn. Regeki. Dark hole. Fisher. Any of them. Be terrified. Good. That's more like it. Change of heart. Gimme. I don't care what it is. Gimme. Hopefully, it's Mystical Elf. Not Mr. Clough. Hopefully it's Magician of Faith. Hand that over, you sod. Come on, Sebastian. Hand it over. Hand, hand over. Hand over the monster. Interesting. Don't know why you played that face down. But whatever. Um, ba -ba -bam 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 -bam. All attack. 1600. 1800. That's 35, 50, 300. He survives by the skin of his teeth. Bloody hell, he cannot afford any mistakes now. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Right, okay. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. You're going to keep it. Sebastian, that's a terrible idea. Sebastian, you'll lose next turn, mate. Do, do you realise what you're doing? That has to go in defense mode. If I get that back, you simply lose. Has he realized that? Like, Sebastian, you, ca you cannot keep that in attack mode because look, look, that's exactly 100. I think he's realized that as he's like about to attack. He hasn't picked any targets. Yep, okay, he's, he's, he's clicked on. Never mind. Can't switch during. Battle phase. Keeping the rules straight. Gotta stay in attack mode. I'm not gonna tell him after though. Can after if you don't attack. With the angel. Like if you don't attack with the angel, you can still change this battle phase, yeah. So you can destroy that. I lose 300. There you go. Might as well teach folk while I'm at it, eh? You're gonna, you're gonna end your turn? I mean, I'm still gonna win. If I have a single monster, I win. Unless he's got a spell trap. Lady Luck, where are you at? I, th I think they're in my hand, to be honest. You need to, you need to end your turn, mate. There we go. Like Mr. Clelf. ba 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 I wish I had a Karibo right now. Like, I've gotten super unlucky. Nah, it's just Lady Lux dancing. Yeah, look at all these Lady Lux I have. It's amazing all the Lady Lux I've got. GG. And with that, Sebastian157768. One, five, seven, seven. If I remembered that correctly, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Dun, 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 dun. One to zero. Is it? One, five, seven, seven, six, eight. Yep. And with that, my point's got the six. And I now have a two to nil ratio. Huzzah! I'm top of the board, people. Do you know One nil. No, 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 no. You go zero one because you've lost to me the once. Not because you've won. This is all your opponents and your wins to your losses against them or with them or whatever. Anyway, uh, who's next? <laughs> I was waiting for Ginger to finish updating the signs. Da 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 da. Trainer Austin, sure. Why not? I don't know if I've trained. I've do trainer Austin yet. Heads or tails? Heads. I will go first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right! 
classic opener. Face down. Face down. Your move. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, I don't know if I do Trader Austin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Swords. First turn. It's a thing. It's a move. Hope I get a giant tunate. Playing face downs before monster. Interesting. And over to me. Right. Um. I'll start the defences a little bit more, I suppose. Might as well. One turn down. Your move. One turn of the swords has gone down. I can't put a token out myself, damn it. <laughs> well, I can highlight it anyway to alert him that there's a token to go on. There we go. What are they going to do? They're going to play that card down. Interesting. Fisher. All right. Cool. Cool beans. Go to your battle phase. Go on. Trigger my trap. Yes. Click it. Go on. Click my cards. Click my cards. I think he's trying to click it while he's click it, highlighting his. I think... I th You're trying to highlight my monster? I'm trying to, you need to click it out of yours. I'll click mine separate. There we go. Not that it matters. You're getting, you're getting mystical, uh, you know, magic cylinder. I mean, I may as well teach folks stuff while I'm at it, eh? Anyway, I draw, and that's... Uh, I've got nothing really here to help us, so, um... Shove that down, I suppose, and call it a turn. That's two turns down. Hmm. Now, what advantage does this guy? He can't attack directly, and he loses 200 attack after he destroys a monster in battle anyway. So, you know, there's stuff there. Like a lot. He's got a lot of cards in his field. But your monster loses turn. Yeah, there we go. So he's better talking on it. That's the smartest way to do it. I like. I like. He's, he's he's thinking. He's working. He's going. He's moving. He's grooving. It's now also going to get nineteen hundred, which is interesting. Um, I'm gonna play Jim Niles then. Emma turn. Now. Downside, that monster, also swords are gone. Boop. He has to have mirror force or magic cylinders face down or something to power him up. There we go. Now his monster currently has 1900 attack, so it could easily destroy- Oh my fucking god! You son of a bitch! <laughs> How dare you! Oh. Alright. Alright, I need Giant Tornado or Heavy Storm. I need one of the two. I don't care which. Give me one. I need Heavy Storm specifically, actually. No, I don't have Heavy Storm. I got rid of it. Feck. Ah, It's destroyed. You got another counter on your monster. Feckity feck feck. Second counter. Wasn't attacking. Didn't you highlighted it. You son of a bitch! I activate the swords. Ah. Fair enough. <laughs> ah, fair enough then. I completely forgot swords did that because, well, I was just completely thrown off by the fact that the first fucking one activated. What the hell are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do? What What is your plan here? What What is that thing? He's got a, He's got a spell trap. He's got something face down. What's he going to do? What's the plan here? What's he doing? That man has 1200. What's it going to do? I don't, I don't see a plan here. What are you highlighting? That. That's that. Mutual destruction. Okay. Now what? 
Nothing, apparently. Okay. Uh, more defense it is. Can I get give me something, game, please? Please, game. Give me something. I know I've got, like, lots of monsters, but I've got a lot of spells and traps as well. I mean, I know I've got monsters and points. Those, those are great cards. I'll give you that one, game. But I could really do with something a bit spicier right about now. Oh, this fecker. Oh, this fecker. He's going to put that in defense mode next turn and start getting life points. Possibly. It'd be smart, anyway. What are you going to do? Are oh, you going to battle? You're going to lose 300. Feckles to you. Oh, I draw. I move. I groove. It's not enough, though. Bench that draw more interesting things. It's been a very straightforward you do right now, but you know, it's whatever. Two times down. His face downs have to be good, though. Like, what are you taking? What are you, you going to do with that? What was the, po what was the point in that move? What are you going to do with it? You're going to attack. I still get that. What, like, what, what? What's the plan here? Austin, I think, I think you've, I think you've, um, wasted a pretty good card there, mate. Like, that was never going to get through it. Unless he's got a face-down card to take advantage of this situation, which he doesn't seem to. Like, it doesn't seem like he's got some kind of power-up or anything. So, I'm, I'm quite confused with his plans. Pot of Greens! I draw two cards. You, uh, alright, you know, that'll work. That'll come in handy next turn. That goes back to defense. I summon that in attack mode. I end turn. Oh, okay. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. That goes as well. You know what? I was about to say I've got enough still. I do actually. No, with Monster Reborn, I've got enough to make something happen. Unless he has Mirror for. Okay. He has that. Good thing I'll be stealing that next turn then, isn't it? Good thing I've got Mirror Force. Not Mirror Force. Good thing I've got Change of Heart. Jose in there. Ba 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 That's got 2,000 defense. That probably has 2,000 defense. What are you going to do? What are you battling? What are you attacking? What are you killing? He's killing that. Apparently he's got a grudge against it for some reason. Don't know why. I draw. Stop defense. Oh, yes, please. Target that thing. I don't know what that is. I'm curious. Show me. If there, there are face-up monsters with the same name in this field, destroy those monsters. We're fine. That would have destroyed that, though. Um, If a monster is summoned or flipped, it's not with the same name. Monster already face up in the field. The new face up monster is destroyed. If they are... If they are summoned or flipped face up, at the same time they're destroyed. Okay, so that does... That's got a weird effect. Cool. Um, Unless you get Mirror Force, mate, this isn't going to work out too well for you. Change part of that. Hand it over. Thank you. Next, I play this laddie lad down. Put that to attack mode. I've got monster point. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to keep it for now. Battle mode. That attacks that. It's destroyed. It's it's destroyed. But the equip's still on. S2400, it... Oh. Oh. I didn't notice that. Um, but do one, two, three. Well, whatever. That targets that. You lose 1800. Each time a monster you control and fix battle damage. Okay, pick card. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I should have shuffled. That was stupid. <laughs> well, whatever. You still lose your 1800. I still get to pick two monsters out and remove them from play. So, bleh. Bleh. Fuck. 
Anyway, um, yes, this isn't going to work out too well for me next time, apparently. Feckles. Oh, dear. Okay, so you had a useful... That's an interesting strategy to knock off cards using that. All right. Interesting. I mean, he's lost a lot of life points in this plan. Oh, my God. It's another one. Fecking hell. All right. What are you going to do? I lose 300. Pick a card. Any card. I mean, they're both going. They're both going. We know they're both going. I need to draw something spicy next turn. I'm fecked. I lose 800. But I need something spicy this turn or I'm in trouble. Deep, deep trouble. I mean, he can't attack directly, so I'm fine in that regard. My pair of answered. <laughs> yes! I'm still in it! We aren't dead yet! Unless he plays Regeki or Dark Call or, you know, something. Or stop. No, stop defense will trigger me. I mean, okay, I was never going to attack with that anyway. Seems like a bit of a waste. Plus, I suppose I get destroyed now because, um. All destroyed. Go five, sure. Ba -dum -ba -dum. That goes to grave. You show all five cards. You have to show me them, you son of a bitch. Show all. Show them together. Stop! Show them bloody all. Thank you. There we go. Bloody hell. Was that so hard? Was that so hard to do? He's just bloody putting one out at a time. Show them all. This isn't some game. You show all five and that's it. It clearly says show them all. Anyway, the battle phase is still ongoing. He's ended his battle phase. Trap hole. And that. And he's got Dark Magician. Cool. Did he summon that turn? Don't think so. He probably could have, but whatever. It's fine. Right, what have I got here? Well, we already know I've got Raigeki, so um, yeah, I'll just be playing. Oh, he didn't summon it because I had Raigeki. Possibly, maybe. Huh? Possibly. Huh? Maybe not. That goes to Grave. I flip. Doesn't work. I take Monster Reborn. I activate Monster Reborn. Taking... What is in here? I'm going to take, take him. Boop. Go on. Do it. Do it. Trigger it. Go on. You know you want to. No. Didn't think so. Right. Anyway. Um... All attack. 1800, 1800, 300, 1900. GG. Cyberjar, turning the game on its head. Just how we like it. <laughs> oh, it was chaotic as hell. I, oh. Trainer Austin, victory achieved. Austin? Austin, not Stan. Austin. With that, we get a good old 1 0. God, this irks me so much. I have a fix for it. Put that like that. Oh, it's still off, it's still off, it's still off. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah! What if I put one there? Game? Why not? No, it's still off. 
I don't know why it's not wanting to put it the same barrel's name, but whatever. Anyway, victory! We're on a roll today. Possibly, because we haven't fought against Shanks or, um... Scrubby. Yeah, let me tell you that to beat me so far. Are they? Are they the only two? Hold on, I need to go check this. I must investigate. But yeah, okay, so the new deck... It's not really changed that much. But yeah, it seems to be working out pretty alright. The cards in it, working well. There you go, get that. look at the board thing. But yeah, so the board's going to be pretty much ongoing, though. I don't know if we're ever going to, like, clear it or something after, like, a certain event, maybe, or blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we'll make other boards to show, like, the top, say, five or something duelists on the, uh, on the server currently. Okay, taking who's got the most points and who has the best win-to-loss ratios uh, into consideration. But also, the ratios are split into overall ratios and ratios per person. A.K.A. will take into consideration how many people you fought and how many victories you have over people. Like, if you faced, like, say, five people and you've won against three, lost against two overall, then you'd have a 60% ratio on that one. But if you fought, like, those five people, but you've done, like, 30 duels between them and you've won, like, 28 of those duels and two of those duels are two that you've, you know, lost against two of those people, a.k.a. that makes up the 40% you lost before, then, you know, that in that case should be, like, a 90-something percent ratio. I'll use a phone to calculate the figure. Anyway, yeah, um, I've lost to... Is it just Shanks and Thingy? Yeah, I, be I beat Frozen Cube again after last video. Yeah, it's literally just Shanks and Scrubby so far. I do love them on. I'll, find I'll have a go against them. I'm not scared. I'll take them on. They're not here. Okay. <laughs> like, I've got no fear of losing. Like, I really don't mind. But I will keep trying until I beat them. Also, ooh, ooh, tokens and stuff. Ba -da 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 -da. Let's go to the gate. Boom, 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 boom. Huzzah. Plus, mark it. I better show another one of the secret ones. It's not really a secret. I'm going to have to move it eventually. I mean, actually, move the one down here, event like around the sewers. There's one in the sewers back here. They found it instantly. Like, because people were using ways and methods to, like, you know, uh, find NPCs better. Pins in the backside, them. They don't matter. It's not, it, they weren't cheating so much, but they were, you know, they were taking the fun. They were taking the spirit out of finding NPCs. God damn them. Like, it wasn't like they were accidentally using methods to find, they were intentionally using methods to find them. The sons of it. Oh, well, it is what it is. Dark Magician, hen, hen. Right. Do we? Ha! We have to stop the train there a little bit. 46. 52. The absolute max. Fun fact, Cabin give anything between, I think it's it's one or two and six. I forget the number. I showed Cabin's the insides like last time, so like, yeah, you can, you can see the exact numbers. Right. Time. We've been going on for a long time. Yes. Yes, a very long time. I mean, 10 minutes of it's getting cut out because Bear Girl was obviously, you know, crashed and was gone for 10 minutes. But, um, hmm, hmm. Is it worth doing another? Well, I mean, everyone's busy currently. Hold on, let's check the records then. So currently, I'm at... Yeah, I've got, I've got one in all against Bear Girl, Sebastian, and Trainer Austin. Sebastian has lost one against me, and that's been it. He's currently fighting against Jenna Exist. I don't know who's who. Um... I want to assume this is Sebastian, because I think Sebastian was running a Toon deck. But then again, Jin might also be running a Toon deck, so I don't know. Can you use Flip Monster effects? Cannot be activated. Also, their effects are negated. Interesting. Um, and Wrecked and Trainer Austin are dealing. They've just started. We've got Jin Exist, who's got zero. We've got Bear Girl, who lost to me. We've got Lord Wrecked, who's got nothing. And we've got Trainer Austin, who's lost to me as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, all, they're on the board. So yeah, we've currently got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 slots. If need be, I'll create more. I don't know where, but I'll create more. <laughs> it might be on a different floor, but we'll create more if we need to. Or maybe actually, I might just double up the boards here. So there's like ones on this side and ones on that side. If that becomes, like, if, if we get enough people that need that. Because I know a bunch of people play on the server and people are on and off and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And obviously some people are only on certain times of day because, you know, busy, school, college, work, whatever. So, um, yeah. Well, if I need more boards, I'll put more boards in. That'd be a thing. But either way, 
fun little extra thing. You can either do practice duels up there, unranked duels for fun, or you can do ranked duels and try and get yourself as one of the top players on the server marked as. I don't know if that'll lead to anything. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I've not really decided yet. Possibly it might be a thing for tournaments or something. We'll make a thing out of it. But, um... For now, though, for today, giving a tech along with bit playing. Yeah, I'll, I'll end this video here, because everyone's currently busy. I mean, I could probably convince someone to come down, but we've done two of those. That's, that's enough for the day. So, huzzah! The Duel League has begun! And with that, we've now got ranked duels, and with that, we're currently the top player, but by the next time I got on the server, people will be higher than us, because of course they will. <laughs> so, yeah, but it'll be interesting to see who does what and who does each other, because technically you could do the same person over and over again. It's just, the only thing is... I can get three points for beating one person, if they're a new person. Or you can get one point for beating the same person over, or you can get three the first time, then you get one point after that for beating the same person over and over. And, again, we'll be, sh we'll be marking percentages overall and per player, so eventually it will show, like, who, like you've been versing the one person over and over, so, you know, it won't, you, you'll still be high up, but, you know, it will show you only, it's because you've been beating down the one person over and over again. So there is that. Anyway, so long as the boards match up, I'll be quite happy. There shouldn't be a way you can really cheat the system, because people need to mark down. Obviously, if someone didn't do someone, they can always say, hey, I never did that. Obviously, we can have other people watch over duels while they're down here. So, but them. Right, anyway. Bim -ba -dum. Hopefully, this works out well. I don't want this to be stressful. I just want to have fun. <laughs> Please don't try and break things, people. Just just play along and have fun. That's, that's all I ask. <laughs> Sebastian looks very happy with himself. I'm guessing he won something. Did he win? Shall we have a look? Did Sebastian Sebastian get a win? Let's see if they understand the point system as well. Ba -ba -bam. What? You gonna you gonna gonna mark the board or I was expect there we go, Sebastian's okay. Sebastian's not put his thing down. Oh, okay, he's trying to figure out how the rules work. I hate two monsters. Two monsters are a pain if you can't get rid of them quickly. So Sebastian at this point gets three points. They have a one-one record, and they have three points currently. I'm trying. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see to figure it out. I mean, if not, this video will you know help everyone because obviously I've won three. So that's ranked what? I'm not a one day. I'm confused. Don't worry, Meerkat. You'll figure it out. There's a video coming out that will help you. There we go. So Jenna exists one nil. In the point system, let's see if he operates and understands how it's worked. How have you, have you managed to, um, have you figured it out, Sebastian? If not, I'll just tell him you've, you've got three. Because you don't lose points for losing. There's nothing to lose in that regard. Yeah. Yeah, he's figured it out. Right, anyway, for today, though, we'll end things there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll do more deals in the coming days. We'll add more packs. Next up is the 2003 sets of packs. There are four of them. I can't show them because I don't know what they are. I do have them. Uh, Yami's got them uh, to keep hold of. And yeah, they'll change the dealing around once again. I don't know whether to add them in next time though. We're too late until like another day or so to like let us play around with these packs a bit more. But I don't know. Like, you let us know in the comments, I suppose, if you want to get add more packs in, or I just add, maybe add one in every day or something. I don't know. We'll see. But right, anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a like, please. Please, it's helpful. It helps the series. I'd be very grateful. Leave comments too. Let us know if you're enjoying. Let us know if you like the idea of the Dragon League. Le Dragon League? Oh god, I've been thinking of bloody... Whatever. Let us know if you enjoyed the Duel League. Now you're a bit. Let us know if you think there's any other bits or any... Let us know if you've got any thoughts on the, the subject. Just leave comments. It, it, it helps the algorithm. The, the YouTube really likes it and it really... It, I'd be very grateful. But anyway, thank you all for watching, though. See you all next time for some more of the Dill Projects. Go buy it from Bunny. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our elite members, the Johnny members, Leo Lalonde, Austin Quinzenberry, Kiza Ryu, Javis Baker, It's Sender Steve PE and Q Plays and our Ombu members Call of Clash, Gold Dragon, James F, Rapid Zrug, Arkham Knight 400, Shadow Wolf, Robert Simeka, Aragon, Bryn Randolph, and Killer Idea Bot. 
Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.